Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters, good times, Oscar here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting, and we're here at Scar's Frontier Outpost, getting ready to go and meet up with Tango Tech himself to go over some landscaping for his kingdom keep. So as you guys know, Tango Tech is an amazing Minecrafter with all sorts of beautiful contraptions he dreams up, like the Iron Titan and all sorts of cool stuff. But he built a beautiful castle that needs some landscaping, and he has requested our services. So my friends, let's head to the Brown Market District in our future shop, and we'll meet up with Tango. Ah, oh, just a little tree elf over here, uh, getting ready <laughs> to open up my new shop here. This is uh, Leaf Your Diamonds here uh, for all your leaves, trees, and landscaping needs. Yes, this is exactly what I need. We, we, we have a, a business deal coming up, my friend. <laughs> I love bits good. and steels um, and I love diamonds. All just wonderful things. Landscaping diamonds. They're all beautiful things. Excellent. So you're just opening this business up here, right? It's like, go ahead and talk about what you're doing here, what your plans are. Yeah. So um, we got the big tree. Um, eventually, uh, we'll have a shop all built up in here. So I'm thinking uh -huh. that I'll build like a, kind of like an elf little house thing inside here. Oh, um, a little Keebler hut kind of thing going uh, on. I yeah, like it. Definitely. And I then, like it. Does, you, wait, does it come with cookies? Because that's important. I didn't think of cookies. You got to give out cookies, man. Come on. That's amazing. I <laughs> never thought cookies. of that. That's Keebler elves. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So you'll be able to go in there. You'll be able to get uh, leaves. And then if you want any like specialty uh, trees built or anything like that, a little mm -hmm. bit of landscaping. Uh, I think the leaves okay. will be at the top. Uh, landscaping will be in the like the roots. Oh, and then, I see. It's like a multi-store, multi-floor system going on here. Okay. Yeah, and then there'll be a secret lair within the basement. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll talk about that later. We, we, don't, we don't talk about that. Yeah. No, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about. <laughs> that. All right. So I have, yeah, I have a business proposal. I've seen the work you've done over by your little tent, tent base over there, and it's uh -huh. just amazing. It looks like you actually created a whole different biome there. So. So if you have been, some landscaping plans. Yeah. You know, if, you, if you've gone by my place, you know, my building turned out OK, but it's amazing. The, area, the area around it, not so much. I've completely neglected it. So I was wondering if you could give a little bit of the magic love around there. You want to you go check it out? Definitely. OK, here we are. Here we are. As you can see, at the beautiful, needs to be done. beautiful keep. Very, very awesome. I it love turned it. out pretty good. I'm pleased. I got some I got a little work in the back still. I've been neglecting, but it's getting there. Yeah, it looks absolutely fantastic. I love well, the you, towers, um, the color, and then you got the little, just all of the, you have layered detail, and that's like so important to make something look cool. Yep, yep. I spent a lot of time, a lot of scaffolding and a lot of tearing it down. Yeah, I saw all the scaffolding. Uh, so yeah, you can see like, I mean, I don't, we don't have property lines here or anything, so it's really going to come up, to, you know, be up to you to decide how far to take this, but, mm -hmm. you know, obviously like all this area, I would say this area here, no one's claiming like where I'm walking down here. Yeah. This could all, you know, obviously this little farm area can go and stuff, but basically just blend in with what uh, what Wells has got going on here. Maybe. I don't know. It's up to yeah. You. Yeah. That looks good. I'm almost, you know, being the kind of the medieval style. Um, mm -hmm. What are you thinking? Maybe more kind of like maybe some fantasy tile trees, maybe something like I have over at the Tool Forge, maybe around here. Or would, would you be... like to go with some of these other standard trees? But I'm thinking like maybe d distinguish it from the rest of the area would be I cool. think so. And, and you know what? I'm going to leave it totally up to you. But yeah, some trees would be good. You know, all I ask is that it doesn't cover the whole building. I don't put like a giant tree in front of it, you know, but <laughs> <laughs> that'd be a good prank, actually. I'm done. Just a giant tree. Just, just completely giant tree around the entire up. thing. Yeah, that'd be yeah. Let's not let's not do that. <laughs> no, let's not do that. And welcome back, my friends. And we have a big task ahead of us, as you can see down below. We've been tasked with landscaping the Great Keep of Tango. So I'm really excited about this. So we're kind of getting a bird's eye view of the whole project here. And yeah, I am super excited about this because landscaping is my favorite thing to do in Minecraft. So let's do it. All right. So as you can see, I've been doing some thinking, doing a little testing. And what I've come up with is what we're going to do is we're going to run our pathway out from here. So as you can see, we have our pathways kind of in here. We're going to replace the dirt with stone. And then we're going to have a really cool courtyard. And then that flows out to our main exit area. And right across here, you might see these little blocks along here. Now that's going to become a river and that's going to look really cool. So a mini little stream. It's not going to be a moat because I feel like the castle is kind of, a, you know, it's got a castle aspect to it, but it's not like a really fortified castle. It's more of kind of a castle, but with style. Um, so it really wouldn't be have like a giant moat and drawbridge and all that stuff. But it'll just be for decoration across here. The pathway, as you can see, kind of meanders about um, and then lands out right over there by the portal. So I think that's going to be really, really awesome. So the first thing we need to do, we need to start digging this out and getting all the blocks assembled. 
And there we go, my friends. We got that all laid out and ready to go. Now, as you can see, we've got an inventory full of all sorts of supplies. So let's just get out our stone. We're going to start with stone. I know this is slightly wasteful, but I will show you my method to my madness for my path design. So as you can see, we have the pathway kind of lined up across here. And the first thing I always like to do when I do this mixed stone attempt um, at a pathway is just fill it entirely up with smooth stone. I know like, hello, you just became dirt and you are scary. That is a ghost block. Tango, your castle is haunted. Just want to point that out. Ha <laughs> ha. But anyway, my friends, as you can see, we're going to lay this all out in stone and then we're going to come through here and we're going to remove bits and pieces of this and exchange it via, you know, andesite and polished andesite and, you know, pieces of dirt and all those wonderful things. And this will just help us kind of uh, just visualize it better by just getting the basics done first. Uh, but I think you guys are absolutely going to love how much we get done today and what we have to do. Um, once we get through here just a little bit, I want to show you guys a better idea of my path ideas. So let's put this down here like that. And as you can see, this is a really rough kind of design for the pathway. Now, as you can see, it'll dip down over here. The reason I like to do a meandering pathway um, is sight lines. Sight lines are so important um, to when you're laying out your landscape and your building because you don't want to obstruct certain parts of the build, but there are certain areas you do want to obstruct a little bit to create a sense of mystery a little bit. So as you can see, we walk across here and you you kind of look up over here and you're like, oh, look at the flag, look at the tower. And then as you curve over here, you get a really great view of the main tower right there. And then you swoop straight in here like that. So as you get, oh, hello, we've got friends. Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Just Uncle Scar here. Oh, geez, they got us on fire. <laughs> they got us on fire. All right, guys, you are some hearty, hearty, hearty skeletons or zombies. All right, so next thing we're going to do, look at them. Look at them. They're down there now. So as you can see, now what we're going to do is we're just going to slowly, oh, my gosh, he's got friends. He's got friends. Mm, go away. <laughs> okay, never mind. We need a drawbridge. We need fortification. We need fortification. All right, so the oh my gosh, <laughs> this is crazy. Get out of here. This must be that social zombie activity. All right, so we're going to cut this out like so, and then I'm just going to start bringing these pieces inward. So just break this apart a little bit. I'm a little bit paranoid that there's more zombies. So as you can see, now what we can do is just start to mix in different colors and different textures, and this is one of my favorite parts. Uh, let me swap that out and grab this. There we go and start putting these guys in there and we start getting this really, really good amount of texture starting to form within the build. And then we can take out some smooth bricks and you can even, you know, get as crazy as starting to put in maybe little bits of uh, gray carpet. That just creates a little bit more depth within the pathway. And as you can see, look at this, look at this. This is starting to look really good. Um, you might be wondering, it's a little too straight, you know, a little too straight, you know, a little too straight on either side. I agree. Um, so we're definitely going to mix that up. There we go. Looking good, my friends. Looking good. All right. So um, you, you get the basic pattern, as you can see. So then we start to kind of like curve it around there and this will repeat this pattern all the way through. So I won't do that yet. Um, but what I will do is just show little areas like this, little areas where you can, you know, extend it out a little bit. What if we take maybe even a stair like this and just, oh, hello. Um, that's not what we want. There we go. And that's what we want. See, oh, gosh, we got Bob the Creeper Building Inspector over there. Let's hope we don't encourage him to come over and visit. Um, so as you can see, oh, yep, he's coming over. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're just everywhere, aren't they today? So um, what we can do over here is just start meandering these little pieces here and there. Um, and I think that definitely helps kind of mix up things a little bit. Uh, next thing I like to do now that we have our beautiful path blocks these days um, is around the edges. It's really kind of cool to, if I can go over here a little bit, show you guys. Look at that. Look at the depth you can create there. It just helps distinguish the path. Um, maybe even cut this piece out and even maybe even replace it with a little bit of stone. Um, but yeah, it's really fun. Just kind of mixing in pieces here and there. Um, there's no real right way nor no wrong way to do this. Just whatever you want to do uh, for your design. Just try not to. One thing is like don't put like five andesite blocks next to each other. Um, that'll look a little weird. So let me continue the pathway all the way down and I'll meet you in just one minute. All right and welcome back. And as you can see, we've got the basic path down and ready to go. So this area over here is a little bit more crumbly. It's got a little cobblestone mixed in because I feel like the path farther away from the keep should be a little bit more dilapidated. So as you can see, we work our way through here. We can get a great view of the center and then we work our way up the hill like so. We get a view over the valley, the tower and then the big tower and then straight on in. And I think that's a really good shape. But uh, like with everything I do here, this is all um, subject to change. If uh, Tango doesn't like it, um, we have a 100% satisfaction guarantee at uh, Leaf Your Diamonds design. So 
Oh my gosh, the ghost blocks are crazy. Um, but yeah, 100% uh, uh, discount or uh, whatever. We'll completely redo it. All right, so as you can see, I'm just working out where our little river is going to go. So that's why we didn't want to get too complicated yet with the landscaping because um, we have some more work to do. And you have your little enchanted bow and you think you're just so fancy, but now you're on fire. And you might be wondering, Scott, what happened to those 60 levels you had and you worked so hard for? Well, my friends, let's not talk about that. All right, so there we go. We got that all excavated, and then we can work on this area just a little bit more. Start, oh my gosh, they're coming out of holes. They're coming out of everywhere. Get out of here. My gosh, these things are insane. All right, and welcome back. And as you can see, we've made some huge progress in creating some beautiful hills surrounding our pathways. We have our water flowing throughout. There's still tons of work to do. Um, but I think things are coming together and I love the sight line where you can look out over Ren's property. I love that little lookout spot right there. And then this little hill brings you up here, gets you a glimpse of the tower and the flag. And then you round the corner and you see that giant tower and then you head straight into the entrance. And I love that. Um, and then, of course, we had this little water unit across here like that. Some cats decided to join us. And yeah, my friends, let's jump over here and start uh, what I think you guys will have the most fun watching or figuring out kind of how I get this all accomplished here, hopefully, is our trees. So I feel like this area right here is a perfect spot for our very first tree. So I'm just going to carve into the ground a little bit and we're creating a custom scar pine or no, it's custom scar fir tree, my friends, a custom scar fir tree. All right. So as you can see, we're working our way up here and creating a decent base structure. Um, so I think this will look good. Um, so you just want to kind of build this up, make sure the, the base of the tree is strong and that it can hold up, you know, a giant tree. Now, the key with this build is that we don't want to bring this too much higher than about right there on the on the keeps roof line. Um, Tango did a fabulous job doing a really beautiful force perspective feel to this build. And I don't want to compromise that design. You might be asking, well, Scar, but what is a force perspective? Force perspective is making something small appear to be much larger than it is. And I find that just so awesome the way he did this. This is a relatively small footprint for a castle, but he made it feel gigantic. And it's really, really well done. I always try to add just a little bit of force perspective in builds because then it just makes things look good. We've done it with bridges and stuff like that. And I just think he did a fabulous job really making this um, really relatively compact spot uh, make a really awesome presence. So that's why I want to make sure that we don't uh, break the kind of that illusion a little bit by making a tree that's higher than the top of the tower. Now that would look absolutely awful. So let's jump down here real quick. And as you can see, see how we kind of got the base right there. And now from here, we can, you know, add some additional, um, you know, root structures coming out of these trees, sneak down here, possibly add something else like that. And you can just keep adding lots and lots of little details like that. Um, now, once we're down here, we can just make a little canopy, just a little something down here. Now, this, of course, is a nice, beautiful fir tree. Um, so we want to make sure that it contains, you know, that little kind of a spear shape that these trees are designed kind of like or let's see. I think that's good. Yeah. So you want to create that little kind of a spear, if you will. Um, I think that'll look really cool. Um, I actually brought some ender pearls this time for uh, getting up and down a little easier, but I forgot them. So that's the thing. Anyway, um, as you can see, see how we just make some of these branches just have slight little bit of a hang down like that. I think that looks really, really nice. And we'll scoot on over here and then bring this one down like this. Um, there we go. Looking good. Awesome. And now Tango did mention that he did want the trees to completely obstruct the design of the tower. So that's kind of our key is to kind of put them off to the side a little bit. Um, but I hope to kind of uh, encourage him to have like a couple areas uh, where you do maybe stick a tree or two to kind of uh, cover up certain areas of the build. I know that sounds weird, but um, what you want to do with that design um, when you add landscaping around a build is that um, sometimes it can create like a little bit of a mystery having uh, certain parts covered up and you might want to like turn the corner to see it. it it's strange. It's kind of hard to like, it's hard to like explain that very well, but um, I don't know. I, I wish I had a good example of what I mean and how to explain it best. But uh, believe me, there's certain times like if you put like a little tree here and a little tree there. Now, you don't want to obstruct the entire build, but just like a couple little trees here and there uh, covering the build. It just adds a little bit of mystery to the build, I find. Anyway, um, but we will keep to his wishes and make sure we do not cover up the build. Don't cover up the build. All right, there we go. So let's take a look at our custom pine here. So we'll round the corner 
And okay, all right, it's decent, but it looks a little scrawny. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring down the bottom leaves and bring up the top a little bit. And there's some changes. What do you guys think? So I increased the height just very slightly, but mostly just brought down the branches at the bottom a little bit. And I feel like that looks really good and really complements that side. We might do a smaller tree right there. Um, this little spot right here is in such dire need of like a nice big tree right here. like. Is that Bob the Creeper Building Inspector? Oh, yes it is. Oh, it's two of them, and they're inspecting Wells' roof. Hmm. Looks like it's up to code because there hasn't been any explosions, but we'll keep an eye on them. We will keep an eye on them. All right, my friends. Um, let's see here. Where do we want to start? I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about right here. Like, I want to get in right about here and then start building this up. Now, this whole area is also something I do need to work on for a tank. Oh, blow it up! <gasps> oh, that's not the first time that's happened today. Not the first time, my friends. Not the first time. But there you go. Thanks, Bob. That was a hill that I just created. But, you know, I, see, I know how you work, evil creature. Anyway, um, as you can see, we'll get these sections built up along here like that. And we're going to start working our way up here. Now, with anything uh, landscape-wise, I always like to refine it over time. I never like to be satisfied 100%. I like to just, you know, sit on it for, you know, a day or two or a week or even a month um, and I'll come back and make, make some changes. So that might not be good for Tango because Tango will probably be asleep up in his tower. It's like, you know, six in the morning here on the server and I'm just buzzing down a tree over here. I was like, yeah, I think I'm just going to move this and lower this hill just slightly over here. And Tango's trying to get some sleep. <laughs> Oh, uh, there we go. All right, my friends. So as you can see, we're just going to start bringing this guy all the way across. Um, now, the key with this one is I want this one to make sure it's be a little bit taller. But remember, I don't want to go about... Actually, I think this is about as high as I want to go, right about here. Um, because like we talked about, I don't want to disturb that uh, perspective um, that he achieved with the design. Um, so we're going to bring this across here like that. Now, you might be wondering some good examples of force perspective. Uh, force perspective can be definitely found um, at like theme parks. Um, so if you think of like castles like Sleeping Beauty Castle, um, you know, Cinderella Castle, all these castles that have been built within the parks always have some really amazing force perspective designed into them, uh, especially Expedition Everest at Animal Kingdom. Um, there was a lot of time went into that to make those peaks just a little bit bigger um, than uh, than they really are. Just, you know, how, how it's all sloped and shaped and how the glaciers come together. Um, it's just as you start with a really, really wide base and then you go up into a really, really fast, you know, kind of like slope shape. And then that really helps kind of achieve that. Um, I'm trying to think of other examples, some really good ones. Um, let's see, bring this across here like that. And I'm going to bring this as kind of like a guiding point. So this would be the top of the tree, just about at our sight line limit. There we go. Looking good. Looking good, my friends. And then just start bringing these across here. There's no... Oh, gosh, there's another creeper down there. Mm, like I said, there is no real right or wrong way of doing it. Only some guidelines. And those guidelines are as, as you start down here, should be a little thicker. And as you get to the top, skinnier. And uh, just try to maintain, you know, just a nice shape. Just try to kind of go along. Just think of like natural trees and stuff like that. They have little branches here and there. Some sides are a little more barren than other sides. So yeah, just continue to do that. And uh, we'll take a look at this from afar. All right, and welcome back. And we are fast approaching completion. As you can see, I've got some more trees built up and ready to go. Um, there's so many more trees I want to add, but I am running low on resources, so we're going to have to call it good on those. So let's move to our next phase, and that is adding all of the small plant details. And once again, there is another mob fully decked out in all of his fancy armor. Most likely he's probably got an enchanted bow. Oh, no, no. He spent all of his mob money on that fancy, fancy armor, but he didn't incorporate anything into his weapons. <laughs> All right, my friends, so let's get rid of that shoddy bow and crab out some materials. So what I wanna start working on is if Tango likes, I just would like to add just some vines kind of growing up the side of the cliff. Now, like I said, everything is subject to Tango's approval uh, once once he gets a look at the build and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, I just think that looks kind of cool just having a couple little vines growing up there. Uh, for some reason, I keep falling in the water. Um, so that's the thing. Anyway, um, just some little vines kind of growing up the side. <laughs> My gosh, I'm in the water again. Um, so as you can see, just kind of growing up this section over here, I think looks pretty good. All right, uh, mixing, you know, just kind of mixing in just a little bit of our grass kind of growing up along there. And once again, I'm in the water. There is skeletons attacking me. 
life just keeps on going. All right, so next thing I wanna do is I just wanna put some of these guys along here uh, like that, and I think that looks good. Uh, just kinda, you know, I don't wanna cover up the water too much. So just, just I'm doing it lightly, just doing it lightly. Let's actually take out um, just a couple little ferns, kinda give those guys a little life over there. Um, this section over here could use a nice big old bush. There we go, looking good, my friends, looking good. Um, then we'll bring this down like that and look at that. Doesn't that look good? And then we'll take this and we'll just add a little on top. Oh, you little flower thought you could sneak in on my watch. I don't think so. All right, looking good. Put that along there like that. Sneaking on over and around the back like, oh, ah, see, they really try. They try. Um, so these are kind of my plans for this area. Kind of keeping it simple, going with the plant life like we're doing. Um, around the corners, I would like to do like an accessory item like we talked about in the intro there. Is I, I would like to add something extra, you know, like a, a little horse corral, um, a well of some kind. Something along those lines I think would look um, relatively cool. Um, so I, yeah, I don't know yet what I want to try, but um, these little things, I just kind of dug down and around the extra, um, you know, wall section like I added down here. I think that just helps kind of give it a little bit more depth in this side. Uh, once again, like I kind of tinker with the building by adding those extra blocks, so hopefully that's okay. Um, so I'll add those along there like that. Put those over here. Um, out of bone meal, I would like to grow those to big old ferns eventually. Um, and now this section over here I think could look good. Maybe just a quick little fern across here, looking good. And we'll grab out just a little more like that. Beautiful, beautiful, I like this fern. I like this one actually, or this bush better than the other one on the other side. And let's take just a quick look at that. Oh, I like that. I think that came out pretty cool. Maybe another small one on that side uh, might actually look pretty cool. So these little areas, it's always cool just to kind of dip in a couple extra little grass pieces here and there. Um, so he also, my gosh. You're staying alive. You're staying alive in the water, I see. <laughs> staying alive, all right, wonderful. So next I wanna do, I'm gonna add some rocks along here. So it's always cool to add a little bit of rock life around your areas along here. So just add a little life in this area in the rock department like that, looking good, looking good. So get those guys all nestled in there and then we'll swoop in just a little bit of smooth stone. All right, looking good. So we'll add just a little bit along here um, and then you can kind of take these guys out just to give it a little bit more of a rocky feel. Um, let me grab this, grab that, boom and a biome, like a so. And then we can sneak these up just a little bit farther like that. And look at that, it just kind of nestled in there a little bit. Looks like the just part of the, the life around here. I think that looks cool. Um, let's jump down here. And as you can see, um, I think that looks pretty cool for a waterfall. It's got a nice kind of rock center. Uh, the rest of the area looks pretty good. I think that looks nice. And then we can work our way back up to the top and do kind of uh, just make a little look. Just kind of add a couple extra bushes here and there. This is a little fern heavy on this side, so we may back off a couple of ferns on that side. Um, but there we go, my friends. Let me go through everything, just add a couple little details here and there, and then we'll do a final tour with a flyover. All right, and welcome back, and let's take a little tour of our progress today. As you can see, this area has not been finished, so this, of course, will be phase two, where I finish out this whole area, and then phase three will be on the sides, um, and we'll do those on live streams. But let's follow the pathway, and as you can see, the pathway is all kind of dilapidated and things of that nature, but the closer we get to Tango's Keep, it gets a little more new, and then as we turn the corner here, you can see a beautiful little waterfall with some rock and little trees hanging over, all custom trees built from the scratch. So that's really cool. And then we have rock over here. And I love this little spot here. We can look out over Ren Dog's amazing base over there. Uh, I love that little lookout spot. And then as you can see, we can uh, curve this path around. And there's just lots of little details hidden around. And I love the reveal as you come up here like this. As you come up here, you see the big tower and then you turn the corner and get a full perspective of the entire keep, which I absolutely love. And as you can see, the uh, the grass is all built up around here. Custom little trees over here with a river flowing throughout. And as you can see, the cats are not included. They will come with me. Um, and as you can see, there's the river with just a small little pond built up in that section. Um, and that's, of course, phase three where we work over there. And I need some ideas for there. I don't want to just do landscape. I want to add a couple extra little actual human created things. I think that would be really fun. And then, of course, the rocks on that side. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully you were inspired for your own landscapes to design. And as you can see, if we sneak in here real quick, there's still more work to do in here and we'll work on that, of course, on our live streams. And thank you so much for watching today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed. And like I said, I hope this inspired you for your own landscape designs. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar and we'll 
See you later, and don't forget to follow me on Twitch and Twitter.